Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff with ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to customize the built-in wiki that you get with OS X Server. Uh, in the previous screencast I talked about how to set up the wiki service, uh, how to get things uh, set up and ready to go, and I gave you kind of a brief tour of the actual wiki uh, website that gets set up when you set up the wiki service. And if you remember, we set all of these options up here and turn the service on, have the green, li green light so everything's good to go. Uh, and then we've got a little link there to view the wiki. And last week I, I showed you what that looked like. Well, this week what I want to do is just cover a, a little bit more in depth on how to customize the wiki to really turn it into your own website. Uh, for some of you that are home users, you may not want to host a website yourself or you may not want to create one. You may just want to be using it uh, maybe inside the home uh, for people to just sort of collaborate. And, and maybe if you've got kids to get an idea of how a website works. And for you, the wiki might be a great option. Uh, if you're running this in a school, uh, the wiki is a great way to, again, expose those kids to you know setting up their own little websites maybe blogging and things like that and so you can really host your own intra uh, website uh, that maybe is only accessible inside your network. Uh, this can also be ac accessible outside the network too if you have a registered uh, name and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it really is it's kind of a basic website but there are things you can do to customize it so I want to show you how to do that. So let me just pull up the website here. And this is the website, and this is what it looks like. I showed you that in the last screencast. Uh, and what you do, if you want to edit any of the website items, you just click the little pencil up here, and you get this uh, toolbar here that allows you to add things to it. Now, as you can see, uh, right, right away there's a blinking cursor here, and I can highlight text. Uh, I can change it if I want to. Uh, like, for instance, let's say I want to get rid of this. It just says, you know, it's easy to create wikis. It's kind of giving me uh, instructions. I really don't want that on my website. I can just highlight that and then uh, delete it, backspace it, and now it's gone. And so all that info is no longer there. And so then I can just save it. If I save it, you'll notice now it's gonna save those changes and all of that text is gone. Okay, and so now let's let's take a look at some other things that we can do. Let's go back and click the pencil here. Uh, let's say I wanna put a little banner up there. I wanna add a graphic to it. So if I just click this uh, little uh, uh, item up here, I can choose a file. And so I've got a uh, website icon. I want to put my icon on there. So I'm going to say choose. And then I'm going to upload it. And so what it's going to do is upload my icon. Now that's in a spot where I don't really want it. So I just need to grab it and move it up here. You can see the little plus there. I'm going to put it right in front of this up at the top. You notice it's copied it. Um, so we're going to have to get rid of that one below. But if I just hit uh, return here, you see everything's centered now. And so if I wanted to, to have the graphic, you know, centered or whatever, I would just highlight it and I can move it around with these here, right? I can justify it there. I can justify it the other way. I can go like this or I can put it centered, right? And so I'm going to center it because I think it looks good kind of in the middle there. Now down here, I've got the graphic that I uploaded and copied from. So I need to get rid of that. I'm just going to click this to delete it. And you can see it says, you sure you want to do that? And say, yeah. So now it's starting to take shape a little bit, right? I've got, uh, you know, I've got my logo at the top, so I know it's my server. It says, you know, welcome to the, welcome to the server. And so that's good. Um, it says I can create and publish all this information if I want to. Uh, you know, so what I'll probably do is let's just get rid of this text here. I'm just going to cut that out. And so uh, now it's starting to look, you know, a little closer to what I want it to, uh, to look like. Now I can add other things on the page as well. Uh, I can add these uh, right here. You can see that you can add a table. Now instead of adding one, let me just show you. This right here is a table. And what, what they did was they added a table with four sections. You can kind of see the lines here almost as if it's a grid going across here. And then they drop these icons inside the table and then type text uh, below it. And that's how they set that up. And one of the things you might want to do, if you have multiple icons, you'll want to use this table up here to be able to set up your different areas and get them symmetrical the way that you want them. Uh, as you can see here, I can always delete these things and get rid of them when I want to. But uh, in this case, I, don't, I just want to leave uh, this information alone because I think this is, this is helpful. Um, you can just get rid of the table by clicking this here. Uh, you can see too in this little uh, drop down here uh, you can see uh, whether it says it's a header column sort of sending descending add the column before or after this just allows you to move these little columns and rows around uh, if you need to move them around see if I just click on here you see I can move the row so um, so it does have a little bit of flexibility but like I said it's not quite like a, a direct word processor uh, so there is a little bit of work you have to do to get things to to actually look right and you can see here where it says table settings if I click on that uh, I can say alternate row colors show grid you know I can I can add things to that table but I'm just gonna cancel and leave that alone uh, 
Uh, so as you can see, kind of going across the top here, I can add in an HTML snippet uh, if I want to to the page. Uh, so if you got a snippet on the web, maybe uh, you got one from Amazon that shows your recent purchases, or maybe you've got uh, an HTML snippet from Flickr or something like that that you want to add, uh, you would just add this HTML snippet and then put the text in there. In fact, if I just click on it, you can see it adds this little deal here. And then all I've got to do is paste the actual HTML code in there, and it's going to add it on here. Okay, so I'm just going to say done because uh, I don't want that there, and click off this to get rid of it and delete. So, uh, so that's how you would add that information, and you can see it's kind of messed up my rows, so I need to slide them back up to get them uh, more symmetrical uh, like I had them before. Uh, if you look, kind of come across, you see I can play with paragraph styles if I want to, if I wanted to change the different styles of the paragraph uh, to an HTML style. Uh, I can also mess with the text as well, you know, plain, bold, italic, that kind of thing. Uh, and then on here, I can add a new page. I can do a search. I can enter a URL, or I can unlink certain things. So if I've got these linking to other pages, I can actually unlink them uh, just, by, uh, just by clicking on them. So I'm going to click off that. And then, like I said, all of this is your regular text type things. you got bullets here and numbers, and then whether you want to justify things in or out. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me, so I'm just going to save it. And so now I've got a little more customized page. Now you notice this kind of moved over on me. So I need to go back in there to fix it. Come back in here and we're going to actually center uh, this with the text there. Now we're going to save it and there it goes. It keeps it. So there we go. So I've got this all set up looking good. I got to customize it a little bit so that way when I come into it, I know that it is my server. Uh, now you can do this at various levels uh, as well. And one of the nice things about this is you can actually use uh, the wiki server as uh, a file sharing uh, server. So let's go into my documents for a minute. And you can see here I've got documents that are on here. Let's say that I wanted to, you know, share uh, photos or something like that uh, with people. And I wanted to have that information show on here. Uh, if you look at the top here, I can click this plus button. And you see I can, I can add a new page in my documents. I can upload a file to my documents. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to choose a, a file to upload. And so I'm just going to upload a picture. So I got a picture I took. I'm going to choose it and say upload. And so now it's uploading that picture, and it's going to put it in here for me, and there it is. So it's uploaded the picture for me. It retains the name of the actual file, says when I uploaded it. Uh, I can actually come in and tag the document if I wanted to. So if I want to add a tag and just say uh, pictures. So now I've added that tag pictures on there. And uh, that's good. So I've got it tagged on there. Uh, I can link it to related files. I can put comments on it. Uh, I kind of showed that to you last time. I could say great photo, you know, and uh, put that on there and, and have, a, have a comment. Uh, I can also be notified. So when this document's updated or when a comment's added. So if I want to know when people are commenting, I can have that come through as well. So I've added one of, my, uh, one of my pictures on here. So let's click on the documents home again. And you can see now I've got this actual uh, picture sitting right here. I can favorite if I want to. So if I favorite it, then I go to my favorites, and that one will show up. I can also see the things I've deleted if I've deleted anything. But as you can see, I can just add a bunch of documents on here. Now, when I do this, uh, because the wiki uh, actually connects to WebDAV as well, uh, in my iOS devices, uh, like my iPad or whatever, uh, I can connect to my wiki and actually bring up these different files and pictures and things. And so it really makes it a, uh, a really kind of clever way to do file sharing if you wanted to. You could just host it on your wiki and then have access to it remotely, or your other users can have access when they log in and take a look at the things that are going on. Uh, you'll notice, too, on activity, if I come to activity, you'll see that, there we go, my, my actual uh, picture is showing there, and it has a little dot that says that it's new. Uh, so everything's set, and it says one more uh, update there as well, and that's my comment. So anyways, uh, all that information is, is on there, and so I can use this uh, for file sharing. Now, each of your users has their own home page, and so again, I can come in here and actually edit this home page uh, to make it my own. So rather than have this there, I'm going to cut all of this text out because I really don't want that on there. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to upload, um, let's upload another image here. I'm going to choose a file. And uh, let's, let's upload, uh, I don't know, let's upload a, a header of sorts. Let's see. Uh, let's upload something here like this. I'm just going to add, welcome to my website. Let's just choose that and see how that works. See if that uploads. Now, again, the size uh, will be adjusted on this page just a little bit. See how it made it fit there? So now I've got, um, you know, this photo on here, which is really nice. And so it, it just says, hey, this is my website. I could put in text if I wanted to. Like I said, I could put in the uh, HTML widget. I kind of went through all of those things with you. But I can add things on here as well if I want to, uh, just to customize it to make it my own. So I'm just going to save it. 
And so now I just got this kind of nice little banner, welcome to my website. So all of your users can do that uh, type of thing as well on their pages to just customize them and make them their own. And so it does, uh, it is nice that you can, you can go ahead and add those things. Uh, so let's go over here uh, to uh, our pages here. You can see I've got, um, let's go back out here and let's go to the actual wiki itself. And here we've got all our activity. We can go into wiki and remember we added a wiki demo here. Right, so I had this demo uh, wiki that was on here. And so I can do the same thing here. I can edit this page with anything that I want on it. And then I can add things to the actual wiki itself as well, uh, just by type, type, uh, typing on it. So let me come in here and let's just see, this is, now you notice this is the documents area for the wiki itself. And so this is where you would add uh, various documents that you would put on there, same kinds of things. You can see the activity in here as well. Um, but you can actually uh, have your users, if they're sharing a wiki, do the same thing that I showed you before, where I can actually uh, come in here to the plus, and I can upload a file uh, to the wiki, or I can do a new page in wiki. So let me do a new page just to show you what that looks like. And I'm going to say page title, and I'm just going to call, say, vacation. Okay, so I'm going to add vacation so that I've got a uh, page here. And you can see now I can actually edit this page if I want to do that, and I do. So I'm going to get rid of all of this text. And what I'm going to do is let me show you a little bit how this uh, table uh, situation works. Uh, you can see now I've got all of these different uh, rows here. And I'm going to delete these rows because I don't want that many of them. I just want it to be, uh, you know, one row. So I'm going to delete it down to one row here. So I've got three uh, areas uh, in here where I can put information. And so I'm just going to click in this first one. And let's upload a file. And let's choose another another picture here. Here's one that I've got. Let's choose that one and let's upload it. And it's uploading it. Notice so now it puts it in that little frame there. So that looks nice. So let's do it again for another one. So I'm going to come here and upload another uh, file and choose a different one and stick that one in there and upload that one. And then I'm going to do it again for this side of it too, just so you get an idea of what that looks like, uh, you know, with the symmetry of it. I'm going to put this one in there and choose that one and upload. And so now I've got all of these files in here, uh, right, that kind of, you know, it's making it nice and balanced, right? That's kind of how I wanted to put it across, just a sampling of some vacation shots. Now I can come down and let's say that I want to add uh, something else. I want to add another file. And this time I'm going to choose a file of, let's say, a, uh, a video. Okay, I'm going to put a, a video file on there and upload it. So it's going to upload this video file. And so it's going to take a little uh, a little minute, but now it's going to add an actual video. So I've got a video file now embedded in here as well uh, that I can play. So if I just save this uh, wiki for a minute, there we go. I got a video file. I can click play, and there we go. It plays just like a regular video file right there inside. So let me pause that. My kids are having fun with the cat there. Uh, so, so anyway, so I can add video on here as well. So you can begin to see that there are a number of things that you can do with customizing this wiki to really turn it into a website. You can do the same thing with this on a blog, uh, on your blogs if you wanted to do it with blogs. Uh, so it becomes a way that you can share these files. When I come over to the um, actual activity here, you can see I've got my vacation um, you know, file there that takes me right back to this. And so it, uh, again, like I said, it's just a great way to, uh, to go ahead and set up your own blogs and web pages and customize them exactly the way that you want them. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to customize uh, your wiki. Like I said, it can be a great website replacement if you don't want to go through the hassle of using something else. And uh, it's just a feature that's built right into OS X Server. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.